In 1999, Joey Verone was on a family vacation in Colorado. On the last day of this delightful trip, her kids ran ahead of her and her parents to hop into the family SUV. As they did this, the vehicle began to quickly roll in the direction of a nearby cliff. All at once, we notice that the Suburban is in motion. Oh my goodness. And it takes off across a vacant lot that they cleared to build another house. My first instinct was to chase it. So we began chasing the Suburban. My father and I were the fastest. And it was going too quickly for me to even try to, you know, get it open. Not thinking of the weight difference, Joy got in front of the rolling vehicle and put her hands on the hood. And the next thing I remember is being pulled underneath the Suburban. Mm. And at that point, everything turned to slow motion. It was, mm. you know, time stopped. I felt the top of the Suburban hit my back three mm. times. And on the third hit, I, I knew it broke my back and I felt my legs leave me. I like to think I was somewhat of a speed bump because as I was run over, we realized later that the passenger door flew open one time, which you know was a miracle. He was able to jump in and you know, save my children's life. After rescuing Joy's children, her dad realized that she was injured. Quickly, he rushed to her side. Are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, you know, Dad, no. I said, um, I said, I'm blind and I'm paralyzed, and I said, I can't do both. Sorry. And then at that point, um, God spoke to me and he said, you know, you can fight this, but it's your choice. You can fight it, and I'll be with you every step of the way, but you've got to fight to live. And that's exactly what Joy did. It wasn't easy. But God drew near to her in the weakest moment of her life, and she survived. Though she would regain her eyesight, she never walked again, despite numerous surgeries. There have been times she's wondered why this happened to her. But through it all, God has used her testimony to encourage many. Pastor and author John Dickerson discovered Joy's story as he was writing his book, I Am Strong. Though they had emailed and spoken on the phone many times, they had never met in person until recently. John sat down with Joy in New Mexico to talk about how God showed up in the worst of times. Joy, the first time you and I corresponded, I had asked if I could uh, tell your story to a group of people. And we were talking about finding God's strength through our pain and suffering. And when you wrote back, here's a, a couple sentences that you wrote. You said, I realized God was there and could bring good from this terrible event in our life, but I had to allow it and welcome the good. Can you tell us a little more about that? Realizing when you realize, I mean, in your case, paralysis for the rest of your life and, and people who are listening, other uh, conditions that they know they'll have for the rest of their lives. And you said, I, I realized God was there and could bring good from this terrible event. Do I think that God wanted this bad thing in my life to happen to me? And no, I, I don't believe he wanted that. But because of the world we live in and the fact that it is a broken world, yeah, bad things happen. Um, but the good part of it is God can work through us and work and work miracles yes. from it. And, and it didn't happen overnight, but wow, I'm not the person I was before mm. my accident. I'm not. And he, he's made me so much stronger through it, mm. so much stronger. And my relationship with him is so much closer. And I had to rely on him. Yes. And I had to, and there, there were still hard days. Mm. And there were still days that I got up and thought, I don't want to get in that wheelchair. And, but yet, all those days, I felt God carry me, mm. the days that I couldn't carry myself. So God has used your suffering to strengthen millions of people through exactly. you being on Oprah's show right. and your YouTube video, which so many have seen. And, and, and people right now are being strengthened and encouraged by you because of what you've gone through. What would you say to them about their suffering and how God wants to use it to help others? That God will absolutely use it to help others. Absolutely. Because it is through our sorrow and suffering that we that he, you know, it does speak to others. And, um, and again, my biggest thing is, you know, allow him to use it. You know, allow him to. Amen. So, yeah. All right. Joy, this is just incredible. Aww. Thank you. Well, thank you. And I loved meeting you in person. Yeah, this was really uh, fun. For a couple years. <laughs> oh.